going on everybody in the YouTube world? My name is Arthur Poole and I'm going to give you a no bullshit video on cost and how much money you can actually make in Ethereum mining. And let's look at it. Now, before we get started, I'm going to tell you right now, I'm not a financial advisor, so don't take any of this as me trying to tell you, yes, you should go buy crypto. You should go buy Ethereum. Because guess what? Nobody knows the future. Nobody. Anybody that tells you it's going to go up, they don't know. Anybody tells you it's going to go down, they don't know, unless they're doing market manipulation. Who effing knows? I don't care. I'm just buying it and holding it. I'm buying it and holding it. I got these diamond hands that I'm going to hold until the... Mm, that's just me. Do you. Do you. All right. Let's just get right into it. So I've been mining since 2017, and I'm going to tell you right now, it's had its ups and downs. If you are a, I guess you would say, an amateur computer builder, novice, there's just a lot of problems when it comes to mining Ethereum. I mean, and just mining rigs in general. You're going to have constant issues such as internet connectivity. If you live somewhere where I live, I live on 1,200 acres in the middle of nowhere right now. I have a four megabyte download and a 0.2 upload. All right, it's ridiculous. All right, next, power. Power consumption through the roof, always. It's just always gonna be your problem. Next thing, computer problems. I mean, they just have problems. These things are held together by wires thinner than your hair. I mean, it just happens. Computers don't always work. Not everything's just gonna click in together. You get a graphics card that doesn't line up with the motherboard. You get a riser that doesn't work with that motherboard. You have to get the BIOS, you have to get, oh my gosh, the headaches. Oh my God, my wife would tell me, get rid of this shit. Just get rid of it. But in the end, my wife was really nice to make this little chart for you guys so you could see how much money we spent. All right, let's get to it. All right, motherboard. Asus Prime Z390, $175. CPU, Intel i5-9400. I don't know why, i3s are just giving me a pain in the ass with the RTX 3080s. I don't know. Rams, crucial DDR4-3200 is on sale, 90 bucks. Hard drive, Samsung Evo M.2s. I like M.2s, they're simple, 90 bucks. Power, EVGA, 700 gold, whatever. I don't care, it's cheap, 75 bucks, works. GPU, this is where your money makers are. Problem is, these things are expensive as you know. MSI, GeForce, RTX 3080, Ventus 3X, these bad boys right here, all right? I got these on eBay, $1,300 a piece. Each rig has two of them times two, so each rig cost me $3,260. I have two of the machines, total of $6,520. $6,520 is what I have spent on my four RTX 3080s, building them into two mining rigs. How much have I made? Let's find out. It's here, everything, how long it took me to mine all these payouts, different times. Um, if right here, the amount of Ethereum, we add all of these Ethereum numbers up over in the last 150 days, I have made two whole Ethereum in the last 150 days. Two whole Ethereum. Um, the income on the payouts has actually changed over the last little while uh, if Ethermine has gone from weekly payouts to monthly payouts now, so the payouts are getting bigger, but just more spread out. So in, I can tell you right now, 150 days to Ethereum is what I have actually made. Now, that also is a lot of downtime, and there is, I should have made more, I'll be honest, but that also requires overclocking, pushing the computers harder. I don't like to do that. I want my cards to last a while. I understand Ethereum is changing to Ethereum 2.0. You won't be able to mine Ethereum in that much longer. Um, I just don't want to damage the equipment. I like things to run for longevity. I also have some downtime of internet, power issues. You're just gonna have issues constantly. Uh, it's not as simple as everyone thinks it is, but making two Ethereum in 150 days, that has given me a profit of little north of $5,000 at the Ethereum price today, which I think is around $2,500. So that's what I've made, guys. Five grand plus my initial investment. The mining rigs are still worth the $6,500 that I put into them. Uh, you could sell those right now on eBay, $6,500 bucks all day. Uh, but I don't want to because I want to keep mining Ethereum and I keep want to storing more and more and more. All right, so I'm going to take you guys. I'm going to give you a quick preview of the rigs and see what they look like. All right, let's just grab this. Okay, the Ronin has officially died on us. All right, we are just going to uh, drop this down here and just do this for you. All right, we there? I think we're there. All right, we're gonna run around. Basically, they're just computers. Nothing really much more to look at. Boom, here we go. One rig, two rig. 
RTX 3080s in both. I actually have that extra 1500i. I'm gonna put that in my computer and throw a 700 back in there. But let's see what they're mining at. We've got 87 and 96. I better check the after. See, right there, something's wrong. Why is one card mining faster than the other? I don't know. Just things always happening, you know? It is what it is. I'm gonna have a beautiful day outside. Guys, make sure you hit that like and subscribe button if you guys want me to do some more content on the actual builds of how I made all these rigs and maybe my previous rigs. Just hit that in the comment section down below and hope you guys have a great weekend and stay safe out there. Enjoy the beautiful outdoors and see the world.